we start with something a little different. Not a fight, but its aftermath. Bruises on a woman's body. Someone clearly got in her face. So do you get in his? Oh, you're here. <laughs> it usually happens in private, as dramatized in this British public service announcement. Who can forget singer Rihanna, bruised and bloodied at the hands of her boyfriend? Domestic violence. One in four women will be victims. But what would you do if, in a public place, you see this woman? She walks into a restaurant. Would you comfort her, call the police, or mind your own business? Within minutes, this man approaches. You need help with something? I'm just waiting for my boyfriend to come in inside. Now the man's wife comes over. That's why we're waiting. He's going to be coming in soon. He's going to be upset. He sees me talking to you. But what will they do now when the boyfriend who inflicted those bruises walks in? How you doing? Huh? She seems upset. The couple goes back to their table, but they quickly learn all is not right at table one. What was that? They were just nice. They're nice people? What the hell is that about? Why are they saying that? Please. What's the matter? Don't you get it, huh? Are you stupid? Look at me. What none of these customers know is that she is an actress working for us, transformed with makeup into a woman so battered, she's hard to miss. Did you order the food? I ordered something to drink. I told you to order the food. Why, why would you do that? Why would you do that? And the angry boyfriend, he's also an actor. Order the food. How hard is that to do? Hey! And that's Listen. all it takes. Listen. The concerned Listen. man is back. Don't look. You might need to go outside for a few minutes and just... Sorry. This has nothing to do with you. Let's go outside and... No. and Listen. Settle down. You tell me there's a problem? No, I don't know. Let's, Let's go. go. All right, come on. He tries yes. to defuse things by taking that boyfriend outside. Right. No, there's... Seems like you Meanwhile, his wife comes over to comfort our battered woman. Are you okay? But moments later, the boyfriend is back, still seething. Is this guy embarrassing me like this? Embarrassing me like this? It's ridiculous. Can you just please calm down? Now watch what happens when the abuser gets more physical. Look at me! Stop! Please, you're hurting me. Stop it. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. It's a galvanizing moment. This big guy on his way out pushes the boyfriend aside. Luckily, that's our security man, an ex-cop. When the dust settles, we meet Adam Weiss. Why get involved? It's my nature. When there's something not right, you try and fix it. So why did he take the angry boyfriend outside? I just wanted to have him away from her so that if she wanted to, she could get out. I think that sends such a powerful message to other men that, that you can be involved. We need to challenge other men to do the right thing, to step in and say, that's not cool. Domestic violence cuts across all economic, ethnic, and racial lines. So what if we replace our white victim, played by Jennifer, with an African-American actor, Mari? With makeup, she too bears the unmistakable scars of an abusive relationship. I noticed you looking at that guy. You thought I was on the phone. I was not looking at anyone. <laughs> you think I'm playing with you? His jealousy quickly turns to rage over the breakfast order. I want to get the white pizza. pizza. Stop the fake tears. Call the waitress and get this orange juice out of here. Order my food. Other diners can't help but notice. You know what? You're freaking stupid. That's what you are. You're an idiot. No sooner does the boyfriend leave than out of nowhere, these two women come to Mari's side. Who is that? My boyfriend, I'm scared of him. Oh, God. <laughs> you want to go somewhere? I don't have anywhere to go. He's going to come back. He's going to be angry. You want to call the cops? No, I think she just went police. to call. You can't call the police. The women plead with Mari to leave now before her angry boyfriend returns. <laughs> come on. I can't go. One of the women is overcome with emotion. And as our abusive boyfriend returns to the table, he has no idea what's waiting for him. You're an idiot. 
Why are you calling me an idiot? I heard you call her an idiot. Why is she an idiot? Why? This is a personal situation between me. That's why and her girlfriend. face is all messed up, right? This is my situation. This is my woman. If it doesn't involve you. This is between me and her. Do you understand? And now, watch what happens when he tries to take his girlfriend home. We're gonna go. No. All right. So. Come on, Marty, let's go. No, you're not good. Let's go. 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 let us before the boyfriend gets any more of his own medicine. My name is Johnny Quinones. We let him in on our experiment. Lynn Fonseca and Cristina Lorenko are cousins. You're still shaking. I was shaking a lot. Here we are. Why is it so upsetting? There's a lot of people that get abused and hurt and nobody does anything about it. And they just stand there and they don't do anything. You told her you're not going to leave with him. Because I didn't know if he was going to take her home and beat her to death. Or I don't know. <laughs> Why get involved? I'd like someone to do that for me. It shows the importance of emotion, of acting on impulse, of, of doing the right thing, and uh, for her, having great courage, even though she was terrified to do it. Our actress, Mari, is deeply touched. I appreciated the love for a stranger putting themselves in a potentially dangerous situation. It was almost like there was no fear. It was like their heart was speaking at that moment and I saw it in their eyes and it was it was amazing